welcome to Literary Life. I'm going to be doing my first videotaped unboxing today. I have done several in the past year or so because um, I love my book boxes, but I'm deciding to share them because I love talking to people about them and I think the people at work may be getting tired of listening to me. So I'm going to bring it here and hopefully find some people that are um, looking for new subscriptions or I uh, just wanted to see a, maybe a box they decided to skip and what was in it for the given month. So today um, I just received in the mail my bookcase club um, box. You can get this on Cratejoy, which is an online platform, uh, has subscriptions for everything under the sun that you could possibly ever desire and even not. And it, I, you, they have several different genres you can pick. I have chosen the Thriller subscription, so you pay $9.99 a month. I believe it comes out to about $15 with shipping. Um, you get two books uh, in each box, and um, yeah, let's take a look and see what came in this month. So I have not, I, I opened it, but have not looked yet to see what's inside. So let's see what's here. Well, first, um, they have a nice little bookmark, which always comes in handy, right? Because especially if you're reading on the work and everywhere you go, like I tend to do. Um, I have not heard of this one, and I'm loving the color, the colors and the cover. The Far Empty by J. Todd Scott. Um, so this book is about a 17-year-old, um, a drift, sudden disappearance of his mother over a year ago. And he's struggling to find his way out of the small town, Texas border, um, town of Murphy. He's a newly minted sheriff's deputy, football hero as well. Um, and he's reluctantly returned to his hometown. Uh, skeletal remains are discovered in the surrounding badlands and two are inexorably drawn together as their efforts to uncover Murphy's darkest secrets lead them to the same terrifying suspect, Caleb's father and Chris's boss, the charismatic and feared Sheriff Stanford Judge Ross. Dark, elegiac, and raw, The Far Empty is a modern western, a story of loss and escape set along the sharp edge of the Texas border. Written by a longtime federal agent who knows the re uh, region, it's a debut novel you won't soon forget. Okay, already intrigued because I Western is not one that I've read a lot of, so this will be interesting. Um, also, I love when the authors themselves have a little bit of inside knowledge. So what I tend to do when I um, do my book review, I'll be looking into a little bit about the author um, as well as maybe the setting and where the book is because I like to learn a little bit about the worlds and the people that bring these stories to life. Um, so if I learn any interesting facts, I'll be sure to share that in my review of this book as well. So The Far Empty by J. Todd Scott. And I'm going to add it right over here to my to be read pile for this month. I think I've got about 10 more coming. Um, so next, really love this cover too. Benjamin Wood, The Ecliptic. I have not seen this one before either. So this one is uh, situated on a Turkish island. Port Mantle might be the strangest, most exclusive artist colony around. Its brilliant re uh, residents linger for years, all expenses paid in adopting new names. Relieved of the burdens of time and ego, they are free to create. Elspeth Conroy, a.k.a.